One of the most common questions that we keep on getting asked in the comments down below, and yes, just for the record, I am reading all your comments, or at least 90% of them. The ones I don't read, I miss on accident, but I, I go back to them over and over to make sure these videos are meeting what you all want to see. So just know if you have a question, ask it down below and I will do my best as soon as possible to answer them with a video. So one of the questions we keep on getting asked is what mic do you use on location with all of your videos? So for the last five years, I have used a Video Rode Pro mic or a Rode Video Pro mic if we want to look it up on Amazon or any other website for that matter. Both of those names will come up though. So this is the mic right here. It's actually the very same mic we're using as we speak. So if you're curious how this mic sounds, you're listening to it right now. And also, if you watch any of our behind the scene videos, this is the same mic that we're using as well. I love it. I would say nothing bad about it. Um, it's phenomenal. It's called a shotgun mic. So it's a directional mic. So wherever this mic is facing, the audio sounds better. So right now, just to kind of show you an example, this mic is on this camera right now, 5D Mark III. Actually, it's a 5DSR, close enough. So this mic right now is on this camera pointing to me. I'm gonna talk about camera settings and right now I'm on the side of the camera and right now as I'm speaking, I'm literally behind the camera and now I'm starting to walk back. My tone of voice is changing. Actually, it's not changing, it's changing on camera, but I'm speaking the same level. So you can literally see how the mic works. So when I'm behind the camera, it's not canceling the sound because the sound still exists in this space, but it definitely gets better wherever the camera is facing. So the kind of videos that we're shooting, this is perfect for what we're doing and it cancels out a lot of the sounds or at least lowers the audio around the settings that we're shooting in. So originally, this was the mic that we were using five years ago. It's the exact same brand, exact same mic, only this has been updated slightly. The only difference is because you can still actually buy this one online as well. It is a little bit bigger as you can see right here with this example. The problem I had with uh, the first model is you'd be filming and when you're traveling kind of all over the place, these right here, they're kind of like, I don't even know, rubber band elastic, they would keep on falling off and then it, it became really frustrating because I was constantly having to, okay, I gotta put this back on there and I mean, it literally takes me a couple minutes and then I have to use this audio jack to put the things on and I mean, that would take me longer than I wanted when I was on location. This one is by far superior. It's not night and day difference, but the thing that is night and day difference is they got rid of these things that would keep on falling off. And now it literally just has this where it sets on here. You never, generally speaking, want your mic hooked straight to your camera because you hear a lot of rattling when you're moving the camera here. It has kind of like a shock absorber. So you're not getting all the rattling sounds and that's why this is even here to begin with. So this is the mic that we used to use starting out. They since then upgraded it. You can buy both of these on Amazon. I'll have a link below in the description. I'm not paid by road to say any of this stuff. This is the mic that we use though on all of our videos. So we get to location. We're gonna shoot with this mic. I pull out my DSLR camera. All DSLR cameras, for the most part, have this little slot right here. It's used for sticking flashes and also other accessories. And I can literally take this mic, plug it in right here to the mic. It will say mic on your DSLR camera. You plug it in there just like that. And then you turn the mic on. Now this can be a little tricky if you're not aware of how, how all this works out. But this mic, it still requires a nine volt battery. So you can put that battery in right here. And once you plug it in, you're literally just hooking it up so the audio signal can transfer to your camera and it syncs directly, instantly. And right here, I can turn my camera on, not the camera, you can turn your mic on. So the mic's on. Now there's two different switches for turning the mic on. There's a middle switch and then there's a far end one. I truthfully don't know the difference. I'd be making it up. I personally can't tell a difference though. I, I've shot both and I can't tell the difference as far as audio goes. After making this video, I didn't realize the technical reason for the other switch on the top of the Rode Pro mic. So I did a little bit of Googling and this is what I found out. The high pass filter, HPF, is a low frequency cutoff setting which you can use to reduce rumble and other low frequency noise 
picked up by the microphone while recording. It may affect the tone slightly, but in some situations it is recommended. So we learned that together. Now what I can tell a difference at is the other setting they have right here. They have negative 10 dB, 0, and plus 20 dB. So what that is doing, and everything that we're shooting, we're always shooting at zero. But if, let's just say it's a super windy day, you don't want this to be as sensitive to all the audio around you. So in the real world, in theory, you're gonna wanna turn it to negative 10 dB, so it's not getting as much wind sound, but that means you have to talk a little bit louder than normal so it can pick that up. Now let's say it's a perfectly calm day, there's no wind, but your subject is really far away and you can't be as close to them as possible, that's when you'd want to go to plus 20. That's an example of when you want to go to plus 20. But generally speaking, everything that we're doing on our YouTube channel, it's always set at zero as far as audio goes with this mic. So other settings that you can change in your camera to affect what you're capturing here is you can manually adjust the audio or you can auto adjust the audio. For what we're shooting, because a lot of times I'll yell or I'll be really quiet, kind of all over the spectrum. So we set everything at auto. So there's pros and cons to that, but generally speaking, when we're just kind of running gun, we don't know what we're gonna be expecting. We have everything set to auto. Now you can change in your camera, you can have it go down and not have the mic as sensitive. That just means you need to talk louder. Or if you're gonna have the mic really close to something, then you're gonna wanna have it, I mean, just adjust according to where your mic's gonna be and how loud your subject's going to be. So always keep that in mind. Whenever we travel, we always have this mic with us. We always have it on all our DSLR cameras. You can also hook this mic to a red camera, but you also have to have another audio jack adapter, but this one is kind of the basic one for all DSLR cameras. They all have this audio jack. To my knowledge, as far as popular Canon and Nikon cameras go, and even Sony cameras, as a lot of people have mentioned in the comments, that they have Sony cameras as well. So I love this mic. I have nothing bad to say about it. If it is a super windy day, you will pick up that wind without question. Oh. Another home cooked meal, guys. So they have a, they call it a dead cat for all you cat lovers. I don't know why, oh I do know why they call it a dead cat because it does look like a dead cat. But it's literally a screen that goes on your mic and it keeps the wind out better. Not perfect, but it makes it a little bit better. So you can also buy that online as well if you're interested in that. Um, don't Google dead cat because you'll probably see something you don't want to see. Um, but if you look up like Rode Pro mic, dead cat or something like that, you're bound to find it. So I'll leave links below on where to purchase these things if you're interested in it. For all our camera equipment that we're buying as far as what I'm talking about right here, DSLR cameras and these mics, I'm buying all that off of amazon.com. That's where we, we got this exact one right here. So I love it. One more warning that I'm going to give you, if you leave this mic on, the battery obviously is gonna run out because it's a nine volt battery. Usually that battery, if you're using it all day, it's gonna last about three to four days, maybe even longer on a brand new battery. Now the problem that I've faced many times is we'll go on set, we'll shoot an interview, we'll turn the mic off, then we'll go and we'll shoot another interview and we'll forget to turn the mic on. Even though this is plugged in, it does not capture the sound unless this is turned on. So we have a rule on set after several mistakes that several people have made that you do not touch this once you start shooting for the rest of the day so you never have to constantly check and see if you're still recording. And you also have to check here, going back to it, we shoot everything at zero because on accident sometimes if you're moving around, this can get switched and if you turn it to plus 20, which we have had happen once before, it made it so all the audio we couldn't use because it was constantly peaking. So just be aware of that. I'd constantly check it. What we have done in the past to kind of counter that is we've actually duct taped this so it can't be moved at all. And then yeah, once you start shooting, I would strongly suggest you not touch this for the rest of the day or you will forget about it and make a mistake and not record the audio and that's gonna cause you an even bigger problem. Now there's a lot more mics out there that you can buy. This one I feel is kind of the basic one for a $100, $150 price range that works phenomenal. It's the exact same mic we use for all of our videos. If you wanna get like 
super intense into this, you definitely can. We'll cover that in another video. We have used other mics as far as just recording straight up sound effects. This does work great, but there is better stuff out there for that kind of stuff. But as far as all your kind of basic all around, I think this is an awesome mic. It's what we use, it's what we love. So that's what I have to say about this. Let me know if you have any other questions. And yeah, I just want this to be as practical as possible. So I'm trying to give you all information on each of these subjects and how it applies to us and hopefully how it applies to you all as well as you go out there and make awesome videos, which I'm stoked to watch. So thanks for all the support. You're all amazing. Links below in the description to all the things I'm talking about. As we always say, over and out. Yeah, wham, bam, super tramp. And I tipping up my hat while I boost the fans. And I hover up top, can you feel the noise? All the girls scream now cause they want the boys. Yo, making all the clouds looking like a big joke. When I run so fast and I sing so low. And you never wanna mess with me. You're just testing me, I just set me free, so just stop.